Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we cleared up the bandit camp near the mercenary station on Onar's farm, and now we're trying to free Bennett the smith from the jail, because he can be the only one that's able to repair the Eye of Enos. So, Lord Hagen. I have the eye. First of that. It's broken. What? By Enos. What are I? You doing? I did not do what anything. Do I? Speak to Pyrocar. There must be a way to put it back together. That is correct. Now. I need to talk to you about Bennett. But that's the mercenary who murdered one of my men. I believe that Bennett is innocent. The evidence is clear. He is guilty. So what if the proof is wrong? Be careful what you say. You raise some serious accusations. If you cannot present me with evidence that the witness lied, then you had best hold your tongue. Hmm. Very well. Bennett could help us to repair the eye of Inos. Even if he could summon down the power of Inos himself to Earth. He has murdered a paladin. He will be executed for that. How come you're so sure that Bennett is that the killer? That be a good question. We have a witness. And who is that? As you can see, there is no doubt about the mercenary's guilt. Who is that witness? Cornelius, the governor's secretary, saw the murder. His description fits Bennett, no doubt about that. As far as I am concerned, that settles the matter. The mercenary will hang for treason. All right. Can I do that? I then? want to take up service with the order. To be a, a I guess not. All right. Let's try to talk to Cornelius. As far as I remember, he should be up here reading his book, right? You saw the murder of Lothar, didn't you? I need not answer any questions about a current investigation. Lord Hagen already has everything I know on record. What was it you saw? Really, I haven't got any time now. You need to go now. The office is closing. Enough of that. What did you see? I... I saw how the mercenary struck down the paladin from behind. And then he took his sword and rammed it through his chest. Are you completely sure? Yes, of course. I saw it with my own he eyes. He sounds scared and nervous. I wonder now. why. There's a huge pile of paperwork I need to do. I don't believe you. So what? What are you going to do about it? How about... Perjury will land you in the slammer for a long time. You're trying to threaten me? A little guardsman is threatening me, the secretary to the governor? That does not protect you, you from lying. Right I'll see to it that you are demoted. Demoted to what, if I may ask? I don't believe so. How about... What is it you want? You don't even have enough gold to pay me. Oh, I've got 14,000. gold pieces. Well, that could make me rethink the matter. Well, now, you want gold? <laughs> Rethink the matter. Is that so, my friend? Can we talk to him about that? That would be interesting to see. I need to... Uh... I will... The episode... mm, is that anything? No. Alright, let's have a look at the quest description there. Would be prepared to speak to me for 2,000 gold. Hmm. Well, or... I believe you can steal something from him if you have more dexterity as I have. I don't... So what? Is there anything... You hold... If you attack me, there I have powerful friends. Now, get... Anything else? I don't... No. What is how to Yeah, he asks two thousand gold. Okay. Here you have Here's your the gold. gold. It's better if I don't ask where you got that. To be honest, I don't really care. But we're in business. So So what really happened? I didn't see what happened. I received some gold for blaming that mercenary. In times like these it's everyone for himself. Is it now? I needed that money. Who paid you? That's enough. He'll kill me if I rat him out. Are you going to tell that to Lord Hagen too? I'm not a lunatic. I can't stay in town now. 
I'll give you my diary. That should be proof enough. And that's what you could possibly steal from him. Now, the interesting thing is, if we follow him, and we are going to do that right away, or if we can, that is, because we need to drink a Swift Piss Potion. In order to do this, he shall not evade our wrath! Is it really true? He will go to a location, which is interesting that he runs to, I feel. Just gonna follow him. We're a little bit faster than him, so... As you can see, we can overtake him. I already know where he's going to. Just gonna make sure that we are able to follow him. That is, by the way, what happens to people that try to be Usain Bolt. It's not working for them. And we're gonna evade this uh... Oh, really? We have... Okay, sure. Whee! Well, I guess we have to fight the Seeker now. Oh, hello. Really high damage potential of that one. So... Just gonna, oh, There's that, another of those scummy beasts. Oh my god, is he going to fight him? That, I think, is not a good idea. We better help him here. Otherwise he's going to die. Well, that was too late now for him, was it? Well... I didn't think Cornelius would die that quickly. But I guess we can take back our gold, right? Alright, there's some creatures over here. Ooh, I didn't kill them before. Young wolves. Come on. There we go. Nothing to be had there. Alright. All cleared up here. Well, I guess we can go back to Lord Hagen now, because there's nothing that we can do right now. Cornelius is dead, and so there's nothing that could be done for him. Anyway, if you follow Cornelius to the location he's running to, then you will find out that he's going to the cave that we first saw Cavalorn at. The cave with all those two bandits inside and the one having our picture just in front of it on that little piece of paper. And that way he's running to, which is a very weird way to go to. But you can find him there, and if you paid him the first time and you didn't get him killed by the Seekers, then uh, you would be able to find him there. But for now, let's read Cornelius' diary. Just have to find it. No, I don't want to read that. That's what I want to read. Alright. Let's talk to you. Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. Everything! That slimy little criminal! In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. Cornelius Beautiful. is to be taken into immediate custody for perjury. Save yourself the trouble. Cornelius is dead. Then he has already received his just punishment. Well done. Well, I haven't Your killed him, but <clears> I'm <throat> not going our to mention own. that. So I want to take up service with Can the I do order. that now? Good. You yes. have proven that you have the courage, the skill, and the devotion to serve Enos. Thank you. Your deeds bear witness to a pure heart. If it is your wish, then I shall bid you welcome to our order. Yes, it is. I'm ready. Then so shall it be. Many men have taken this path and given their lives in the name of Enos. Do you swear that your deeds will honor their deaths and proclaim the fame of Innos? Always. I swear. Then, from now on, you are a member of our fellowship. Thank you. I hereby appoint the fellowship you a of the paladins. Of 
Good thing they I don't have a ring. The weapons and armor I would be of scared. A Bear them with pride, knight. Thank Henceforth, you. by virtue of your rank, you shall have access to the monastery. Albrecht will teach you our magic. Just go and talk to him. And of course, our quarters in the upper end of the city are now open that to you. That sounds cool. Thank you. So, I now am a paladin, or rather a knight for now. How about this? Can you teach me something? If you prove yourself worthy, I shall bestow the magic runes of the paladins upon you. Beyond that, I can teach you to increase your I magic I have already power. enough mana for anything. But, uh... Am I worthy of receiving a rune? As a sign of your rank, I bestow upon you the rune of light. Thank you. It is a symbol of truth and justice. Is Light the way for else? all those who walk the path of Innos. You must earn all other... Yep. How about Am that? Am I worthy of receiving... Which way have you... The way of healing? Uh, I choose the way of healing because that's going to be more effective for me. I choose the me. path of healing. You are not yet worthy of receiving... Oh. Alright. Well, I guess I can't do that. But... There should be some training dudes over here. Garyon, hey, to be exact. I am Garyon, master of two-handed combat and paladin of the king. Why are you disturbing me? I want to learn something Can from you. Can you train me? You do well to train in the noblest of all combat styles, as is proper for a warrior of Innos. I shall instruct you. Report to me when you are ready. I'm ready. So, two-handed weapons all the way. For now, I don't think so. We need to make sure that we have more strength in order to wield a two-hander anyway, so it's not a big deal if we don't train right away. So, let's talk to Bennett. And for that, I think I'm going to teleport down here. Get a little bit quicker and go to the jail near Lord Andre. So, Bennett is now a free man because we have made sure that A, Cornelius is not going to return and that B, his lies have been revealed. Now the gold that he was offered was given by, so to speak, the enemy, the guys in the black robes. And we cleared him by having revealed that Cornelius was lying indeed. So we can now set him free. And that Shall give us the opportunity to repair so now the you are a paladin. Congratulations. I thought Thank from you. the beginning that you wouldn't stay with the militia long. Oh, I suppose Ben is already gone, right? Yep, Ben is not here anymore. So, that quest is done. But before we go, I would like to see how much actually the armor is protecting us right now. So, 70, 70, 10, 10. Now, 100, 100, 50, and 25. So that's like a huge upgrade from what we initially had. Definitely worth having. Alright, so we've got 12 learning points right now. I think we need 15 to get another 10 points, uh, 5 points in strength. So that will be a little bit more than we have right now. So the more we have in experience, the better it is. Uh, Abujin, hey, you. how about you tell us? Can you make me a pro yes. Ah. Time has progressed. How much? Right, more tell XP. About the Go. You shall force what is nobody's destiny but yours through fire and snow. Through ice and flames, men in foreign armor. A swamp, lizards, they await you. I'm sure they do. That's all. Alright, he will take a little bit of a, a nap, I suppose, before we can make another prophecy. Or rather, we need to progress to the next chapter in order to receive another one. So, do we have anything else in this area? Like, the desecrated shrines is definitely something that we should be working on pretty soon. The snorting creature, hmm. I think we should be able to 
do that, most likely. Uh, we want to go to the path of Karenis. So that is where the creature first showed up. Oh, oh, there's another dragon snapper over here. Hmm. I'm not sure how much life they have, so... I'm just gonna drink up. And I'm just gonna drink one of these. And I'm gonna save and see if we can kill one of these or not. Because I know they're pretty tough. I know they are really, really hard to kill. And I think I'm gonna go down the first time around pretty easily towards them. But they're not. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad of a fight. These things are basically the same as the snappers before that, but they deal, as you can see, to the left hand side. They're a lot more damage than they do. So we need to be ultra careful not to die against them. But for now, I would like to kill that creature over there. As long as he's alone, which he is, that should be not a big problem anymore. Dead! Woot! And now talk to God. That horrible animal is <laughs> and we get I just a hundred XP for that as well. Freely again. Here's the money I promised you. Thank you, Gan. Also, that wasn't worth a hundred gold. That was worth far, far more. But there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. It's just that amount. Alright, pretty happy with that. I am indeed. Now, what map do we have for this area? Is this the shrine map? Yes it is! So, let's see. Is this to be cleansed? Yes! Inos, grant me your aid and purify this shrine. Three left, it says. Alright. Let's have a look. Uh, we were... Uh-oh. Seeker. Oh! Dude! That was not fun. Oh my goodness, that was large firestorm most likely. Ouch! That hurt. Quite a bit. Goody. That brought us down to Inos, like no health. I guess it. Oh yeah, 500 damage, and we have 503 hit points. Pfft. Well, I guess we're gonna. Yeah. Much less damage, though, by the way. Beautiful. Now, there should be another one somewhere here, as I've seen. Ah, there he is. Previously. There he is. And he's down, too. Now we can clear of these Seekers with not too much trouble anymore. This is a good thing, because they're still numerous, and they will still be trying to kill us. But with this new armor... Oh, hello. There's another one. And we shall take him out as well. Or try to. That was close. 
very much so. Now, in order to get our health back up, we're gonna drink this. Because I want to rest over there. In the barn. Or, <laughs> rather in the house nearby the barn, because we are not that kind of on the low life of things. Unless he has some black robe dudes inside there as well, and then we might need to drink up first, but I don't believe so. Mm. How's the situation? Malik has disappeared and taken everything and everybody who would work for me with Did it. he now? He said he was headed for the mountains. He couldn't stand it here anymore. The hordes of monsters pouring out of the pass every day into the high pastures are really getting to me. If at least I had a few helpers or mercenaries. There was even I can one help you with the mercenary, no problem. Changed his mind, though. I think his name was Wolf. Yep, indeed. Oh, we're gonna talk to Wolf in a second. I just wanna make sure that I get my health back up first. Alright, so... To the landowner. Let's go to Wolf, shall we? Also, if you're asking yourself where Malak is, we are going to find him in a second. Just gonna make sure that Wolf and his men are already knowing about the situation here. So... I may have found a job for you on Bengar's farm. Let's hear it. The pass to the Valley of Mines comes out directly at Bengar's farm. He's got problems with all the beasts who squeeze through the pass. Someone needs to defend Bengar's farm. That would be something. Then at least I'd be away from the farm here and wouldn't have to stare at the smithy. Good. That comes to 800 gold coins. A hefty price. Well, for one of us, I'd do it for almost nothing. But for you... <laughs> here's your gold. Here's your gold, sir. Good. I'm off then to see those beasts. Let's see who else on this farm I can enlist. See you do that. While I am going to talk to Bennett to fix the Ivinos. Man, and here I was thinking they'd really hang me. Well, it worked all right in the end. You can say that again. You should have seen the face of the soldier when he had to let me out. <laughs> like, him there, we wanted to hang someone, yeah. Which reminds me, I've got something for you. You do? What do you mean? A present. That would be what? Oh, I can learn to forge here as well. Yes. Nice. What present? We have heard of the dragons that are said to be in the valley. Indeed. They're really there. All right, I believe you. Anyway, I thought you would surely want to participate in the upcoming dragon hunt. And? Here, take this amulet. I think you'll need it more than I do. I guess thank you. Anyway, here's the amulet. Please repair it for me. All right, I'll have finished the new setting by tomorrow. You can come to me and get it then. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be taking Naplin to make it work that it is already tomorrow. Sleeping it up and going over. Now, hopefully, this was 24 hours and he already has repaired it. Hey, Bennett, you done? Is yes. The ready? Yes. Lovely. Here. I had to make a new setting for the stone. I worked on it all night, and now it's as good as new. Thank you. So we have 12 points. Mm. Hey. I think we can learn forge now for two points. That's actually a good idea. Teach me how to forge a sword. It's yeah, yeah, it's all right. Teach me. As long as you aren't one of us, I'll be damned if only very few. And that's a good thing. Okay. Um what about what do you need? Okay, uh mine crawler belt, mercenary belt, nothing I really need. Magic orphans now. What kind planes Can he like teach me simple things? Huh. Oh. I guess not. Well I've learned forging, so Bennett, get away from the anvil. Hey. <sighs> All right then. Wait a minute. Anything you gotta say? No. Fine. 
So anyway, what amulet did, did we get from him? This one? The amulet of life? Well, it's not really worth it, because we already have an amulet that is equally as good. But anyway, we wanted to find Malak. And uh, that's going to be the last thing we can do today. So we're going to head down here to this cave. And then there should be a small kind of valley near the theater. And once we've killed him, we can you can see the dude over there already on the left hand side of the screen. That's where Malak and all the guys are. So over there. We're gonna make sure to talk to them. And bring them back. Hello, Malak. What are you doing here? I fled here from Bengar's farm. I didn't want to be butchered by all those creatures coming yeah, out of the past. Yeah, they're not going to be butchered. You can't imagine what sort of things came out of the past the last few days. I can. <laughs> I can because I fought them already. Bengar needs you. He wants you to come back to his farm. I'm not crazy. As long as we have to live defenseless on the farm, I'm not budging an inch from here. I've hired a mercenary. He will keep an eye on the farm. That's different, of course. But wait a minute. Who's paying the guy, then? That's my problem. Hmm. No chance to say no, eh? No. <laughs> good. Then I'll go back. I hope the lad's good for something. Well, at least you're not saying me. Nee. That's much, much better. In the meantime, I think it's time you know, to purify this shrine. Your aid and purify this shrine. All right, two left. So, we've done this one, the one left of that. I think we were already at the one at the farm to Corinis nearby. I don't think we were outside to the north of town yet, so that's something we should probably do first. Yeah, we have to collect swamp weed anyway, so that's the way that we should be going. However, that will be for next episode because that will take a little bit longer. So, when we come back, folks, time for some swamp weed collection. So, I will see you all next time.